Hey, I'm really excited. I'm gonna get to fish with my son, Troy, for five days. We're doing something that we love to do. I love to go to different places and fish for different kinds of fish. Sometimes we'll pick an area, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, get a cabin on a lake like I'm at now, and we go exploring. Oftentimes we're on two complete different lakes in a day. Sometimes if it's a big lake, you know, you know it takes all day. And, but we're in northwestern Wisconsin, and this area up here is filled with lakes, pockets of lakes all over the place. And there's great smallmouth, largemouth, walleye, muskie, crappie, uh, northern pike, bluegill perch, you name it, this is a fisherman's dream if you like multi-species fishing like we do. Not a big one no. to me, Look, yeah. We're on the board, Troy. Yeah. First, we're on the board. The... So uh, uh, we're gonna poke around, like I said, for five days. Uh, the lake we're on right now, we're gonna probably start off on some smallmouth. I don't know what the rest of the day will bring. We only got about four hours to fish, but we're gonna start sampling the bite. Ooh, there you go. There you got Mr. Brown Bass. Oh yeah, a little bit better. Yeah. It isn't like that last beast that you had, but we're starting to we're starting to score a little bit here. That last one you had was a big one, and I lost that one big one we had before. And then I got this little little tub again. No monsters, but the piece is right. We're starting to put something, something together. A little bit more going here. You know, it's interesting. I'm going to talk a little bit about a jerk bait. Uh, you know, this thing has been so incredible for me this time of the year, anywhere for smallmouth bass. This is called an X-Wrap. You watched our show. You've seen me talk about how deadly this bait is for smallmouth bass, especially this color. And uh, um, they got all kinds of co colors. But I want to talk about the family of baits because in my opinion, this X-Wrap is probably the most versatile jerk bait for all kinds of fish. I don't care what freshwater fish, some saltwater fish. They have X-Wraps from little tiny guys like this. And we go catch big crappies on them in right conditions. Uh, uh, you can catch trout on them. We slaughter smallmouth, largemouth like them, walleyes like them. Over the years, we've caught big, you know, really good muskies, Jimmy and Jeremy, in cold water conditions on the bigger X wrap. They've caught big muskies, naturally northern pike. We've caught lake trout trolling, trolling, trolling deep, deep with them on, on weights. It is an amazing, amazing bait. <laughs> you know, and it's, it's one of my all, all, all time, like our entire office, all time favorite baits for a lot, a lot of freshwater fishing conditions, especially in cool water. Well, I did a podcast. Somebody asked me, like, what are my two favorite, you know, baits? And an X-Wrap and a small swim bait, you know, a three to four inch swim bait. And an X-Wrap for just about anything. If I had two baits to fish anywhere for anything, without question, the, the, you know, the, that's it. And the X-Wrap, you know, and the different sizes, you know, the smaller ones all the way up to the giant, you know, number number 10s, number 12s, uh, number four, even thrown like number 14s. But without question, you know, if, I, if I'm going to a lake and two baits to bring with and I don't even know what I'm gonna go catch, small swim bait and an X-Wrap, easy. Last night we got out for about three hours right square in the middle of a doozy of a front. Big wind, it got super cold, blowing out of the northwest. We slept in this morning a little bit. The wind is still hauling, same direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we caught some fish. I think we caught eight or nine fish last night in three hours. Had a couple good ones. And uh, we're just gonna pick up where we left off. I'm just kind of still learning where the good rocks are, shallow and deep. You know, this helps me do that a lot, my hummingbird. Just, just take a look at this. I'll just show you just one little feature here that's saving me a lot of time. On my Lake Master map chip, you can see it shows the big structure, but then it, it marks where these big boulders are. 
on top of it. You got the buoys, but it shows you where the rims of boulders are. And I've got this scattered all over the lake. I could look, where are the shallow water boulders like this? And uh, that helps me zero in this time of the year, early in the season, when these fish are getting ready to come up. These are key areas that I can go to immediately, on especially cold water. I've never been on before. It's kind of like a little, I just spot locked a little bit on here. You can fan cast back in around this way here, just a little bit where we had, they're little fish. These could just as well, well been three to four pounders, yeah. you know, in a spot like this. Slow, colder water. And that slow kind of pause. That's the one thing those fish don't want to jump, and I don't blame them. They want to stay down. I'm gonna have to come over here. Yeah. So I downsized. See, my dad is throwing the uh, bigger X wrap, and I downsized to a little bit smaller one, and. And I've had really nice, yeah, that's a nice, that's a size like this. My downsize, he just got it right across the mouth, a little real chunky one. And I've had some really good success, actually on this size X-Wrap. Let me get that out. Oh yeah, that's a fatty, that's a little fatty. Look at that. Let me get this one back and I'll tell you. All right, so I have a, a ton of confidence in these smaller X wraps like this, um, bass and trout, um, even walleye at times, but especially bass in clearer water lakes, pressured lakes. Back when I used to fish a lot of uh, bass tournaments, I won the Wild West Championship, Wild West Bass Trail Championship Angler of the Year on Lake Mead, throwing primarily uh, throwing a smaller X wrap just like this and it was absolutely magic there. That basically, I just needed one rod and this bait, pick it up and throw it all day long, and that's what really sealed the deal uh, to win that um, Anger of the Year championship. Um, just an incredible lure. I have so much confidence in this. You know, this is working really well for Troy. I'm pulling up on these high percentage spots, and then I'm spot locking here, and we could fan cast this rock ridge I've got the wind in my back. He can throw that bait a million miles. And, uh, uh, and when he hooks up, I just sit here. This, I'm positioning the guy in the back of the boat. I can't even meat hog him on this one. But <laughs> he's catching fish after fish after fish because of the positioning. That's OK. My time will come. You know, the cadence when it's cold out like this is, is letting it sit after a, like a pole and then a little snap and then a pause for a second, two seconds, and then maybe another snap or two snaps and then pause for a second, two seconds. And when it's hot out in the summertime, I mean, you can rip this. You basically can't fish it fast enough. They actually want it to chase it down. And many times I've seen it where if you stop it, they'll just kind of swim away. Here, when you stop it, they swim up to it in this cold water. So changing your cadence with this depending on the water temperature and time of year um, is really critical. And right now it's kind of that pull, pause for a second or two, small little snap, pause for a second or two, even up to three seconds. And that's when they smack it. Got him. I got, I got me in a good spot lock spot this time, not you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Better one? Yeah. Looks like Looks it. Like it. Feels like it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a nicer one. <laughs> it's a little, neat little boat. I got a pretty good spot there, Troy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got I got one for the board board. I've been done done dinking all this time. And I finally got myself a toad. 
Uh, come here, baby. Uh, oh. Or maybe oh, yeah. not a toad, but a pretty good one. A nice one? Yeah, for sure. Uh, let's see. There. Get a hook out of you there. That's a nice one. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to catch up to Troy a little bit. <laughs> He's been smoking me on the bigger ones here. These are nice fish, boy. Look at that. You know, look, I'm, I'm amazed that they're this fat with the water still 47, 48, 49. You, you know, but boy, are they, they look like they're, they're just carrying, don't they? I love doing this. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. You, you know, one of the fun things about our business, I get to fish with the newest of equipment way before it's brought to the marketplace. Now, this has been around for a while, but I want to talk about, about, about uh, St. Croix's introduction of a Victory Series rod. Anybody that's bass fished in the last year or so, you had to hear about St. Croix's Victory Series of rods. I never seen a campaign in my entire life in the fishing industry that was so targeted with so many different rod actions, so many different rod actions under one tidal line for bass, totally focused on bass. For a lot of the type of bass fishing that I do, particularly smallmouth, where I use a lot of light lines, uh, 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 spinning rod, rod and reel actions. You, you know, in this case, I'm jerk baiting, and I use a spinning rod a lot for jerk baits, but jerk baits, uh, Ned rigging, hair jigging, a uh, 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 wacky worming, uh, anything to do with light line fishing, I use this rod. And I happen to like the 610 overall. It worked really good for me. It's a heck of a rod, and it's priced brilliant. It was one of the best rod campaigns I ever seen in the business, ever. We're mainly jerk baiting for small. Small is early in the year, water's really cold. You know, it's in the a, in a high 40s generally. Wind is blowing like crazy. It's not exactly fun fishing, but we're catching some pretty big, big, big fish. What, one of my favorite reels in the last few, few years is Dio's Kage. This is the Kage LT2500XH. And uh, uh, this is a whole new series of spinning reels that they brought to the marketplace. They got quite a few different uh, sizes from 1,000 uh, for, for panfish all the way up to some pretty good size spinning reels. And uh, it's a beautiful reel. It's quickly becoming my favorite Daiwa spinning reel in there for my bass fishing, the Kage series. The drag is absolutely, it, it's amazing on, on the drag. It, this reel does not have an anti-reverse on it. And when I first picked it up, an old guy like me that's been using anti-reverses on, on his reels all his life, it took a little getting used to having a drag yeah, you know, like that, that you don't have to uh, a back reel on, on the fish. Yeah, you know, it's, it's quite, quite a reel. All right, so this is what we did. We came in like this. This is our track line. We come up, we locked up here, and we locked on multiple points fishing this four to six foot roll, and we're kind of anchoring down in different positions. We're anchored here. The wind is blowing this way. So we're actually, with the boat position, we're going backwards while the nose of the boat is going, you know, pointed into the wind holding and we're kind of hitting these different anchor points, making very long casts right along that edge. Got him. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Each, each, each time we, we lock down, not another, just a medium one, okay. but each time we lock down, yeah, it, ain't, it, ain't a, it ain't a small one. But you know, each time we lock down, I, 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 I let us drift about 20 feet more. You know, spot lock again on that four to six roll. <laughs> you, you, you know, when you got an, another fish or two. It's just boom, boom, boom. It's pretty, pretty steady. <clears throat> Not much size, but ooh, this is a skinny one. Wow, look at it. This one looks gaunt in comparison to those other ones. Holy smokes. You ain't been eating right, guy. Your buddies, they've, they've been beating you to the food. <laughs> you didn't even fight oh. hard, Troy. Look how thin it is. That was 
so. <laughs> oh, that was, ooh, that one's way out there. That was at the end of the, I buffed down here. It was at the end of the cast. That's kind of, just like we've been doing before, we spot lock and then make long, long cast. Nice brownie. Way Good. out there. And we try to target, you know, wherever the rolls, those boulder rolls are. And, and it's a very good pattern and it's really paying off. And it's kind of dogging down a little bit. Let's see this one. Can't always tell when they, oh yeah, that's a nice, another nice one. Can't always tell when you got a lot of line out how, I just kind of got that drag, maybe tighten that up a little bit. Come here, oh yeah, oh yeah. In this colder water, they're not super, Usually they'd probably be jumping all over, but not here. Oh yeah, not a giant, but I'll take that all day long. That's a lot of fun. Just throwing little X wraps out there, long line at spot lock, cast, and then just drift back, slip back in these spots. It's so effective. You're fishing in wind, especially for smallmouth. Cold water, warm water, all year long. There you go, buddy. Trot driving a kicker sideways, trying to drift back over those rocks from here. Got him, got him. Yeah. Got him. It, it ain't a little junior. Good. Uh, I, I got you. I see. Yeah. You, I'm coming over you. All right, I got to come inside my... you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, way better. Nice. Feels good. Feels like a good one. Okay. No, no, oh. he's hooked in the side of his face. I got. Still. <sighs> I got. I got big brownies on a brain, and all I'm catching is juniors. Would you rather catch that or a little pike? I'm gonna let you be the pipe Ooh. master. That one feels pretty good. <laughs> That's the nice thing about spot locking. My dad just spot locked in the back and then when you have the wind like this, you can make real long casts. It's gonna take me a second to get this fish in because with that wind like that and on this braid, you can really bomb out like these X-Wraps. And this is a smaller X-Wrap and and I do have a lot of confidence you know, to, to downsize, just like you would with any other, any other bait. A lot of times downsizing works re really well, especially when you, know, you have cold, cold water conditions. Let's see. Yeah, not, a little, not as big as the other one, but still, that's still a pretty good, you know. Oh yeah, nice one. Yeah, ooh, oh yeah, look at the way, kind of mouth there. Uh, ooh, another one. Ooh, a little bit better one. Whoa, oh, that's a nice one. Really nice one. They're growing up. Chunky, all right, there you go. Ooh. It is chilly out here. We're the only boat on the lake and for a good reason, the wind is blowing. It's really, really cold. But the thing is with X wraps, you can fish them throughout the season. Now in cold water, through hot water, they work everywhere. They work around the world, freshwater, saltwater, bass, absolutely everything bites an X wrap.